Hello, crew. We're joined again by Eduardo. Eduardo did have a driving test booked. He was on previously with the mock test videos. So, yeah. Eduardo, what happened? So, basically, on Monday, I mean, everything was oh, everything was perfect. It was yeah. 15 minutes left for the exam to finish. Then we went to it for the roundabout. So I was in, I was on my lane uh -huh. on the second second lane. Then I don't know what I was doing. Then I'm trying to move to the to the left hand side. Then it was a car coming, so I have to break. So you know the examiner told me he didn't tell me anything. He just he just directed me straight to the what's it called to the test center. Okay, so overall he said your driving was good. Yeah, it was just the one serious driver fault. Yeah, because when you moved from the left, or yeah, the I didn't, yeah, I didn't check down to the, the left. Yeah. yeah. There was some. Yeah. There was another vehicle there, yeah. and you got a serious driver fault for that. Yeah. Okay, and that was up in Tottenham, wasn't it? Yeah, in Tottenham. Okay, so we're in a different part of London now. Yeah. Um, we're just going to start here. It's no official route, but I'm going to try and get you similar sort of situations that came up on your driving test, so we yeah. can see if you've improved on those. Okay. So you're going to have some bigger roundabouts, okay? okay. We're going to be driving for about 40, 45 minutes. That's what it takes for a driver test. So we're going to do everything that you'll be asked to do on a real driving test. That includes pulling over and stopping on the left. That includes a reverse maneuver. That possibly includes a controlled stop, which used to be called emergency stop. Emergency we'll have a stop. look at that. And you're showing me, tell me questions and your independent driving, okay. okay? So any good points will be up here in green. Any driver faults will be up here in yellow, and any serious or dangerous driver faults will be up here in red. red. Okay. okay, so any questions before we get started, Eduardo? No. You're ready? Yeah. Okay, so we're in a little bit of a pickle here. We've got some vehicles doing some deliveries in front of us. Yeah. But what I'd like you to do is just try and drive yourself out through the exit here to the main road. Okay. And I'd like you to turn right on the main road. So right. when you get to the exit, turn right, please. Right, okay. When you're ready. Can I stop you, Eduardo? Yeah. There's a very large piece of cement here. Cement. Can you see the red has oh. come up here? Okay. So we're just about to hit it. So if you wouldn't mind just steering us oh. to the right, maybe put on like a whole steer to the right. Oh, okay. Quite a lot of steering. You can see how it changes here. Oh, that okay. way we won't get too close to it. Okay, yeah, you can see that. Okay. Okay, I'd like you to turn right, please. So how are you going to pull your height? Higher? Yeah. Uh, push the bottom of the seat up, so where the bum would be. There you go. Okay. Yeah, that will help you, won't it, to yeah. see out the windscreen. Eduardo's off to a little bit of a shaky start, yet he's starting to refocus edging forward slowly to emerge out onto the main road. We have an obstruction on the right-hand side of a delivery van, which may obstruct pedestrians. Eduardo's doing a peep and creep, and he sees the pedestrian passing from the obstruction on the right. He stops to let the pedestrian pass, yet before the pedestrian has fully passed, he edges forward slightly and receives a driver fault advisory for awareness planning. Thank you very much. Stay in this lane, please, Eduardo. And we'll just be going, like the arrow says, straight ahead, please. Today's mock test will be testing Eduardo's ability to check his mirrors before changing lanes on a roundabout. We are now going to approach a roundabout, and I'm going to assess to see if he's made progress in this area of his driving. Okay, keep to the right lane, please. Okay. And just follow the right lane straight ahead you'll come towards a roundabout. I'd like you to take the fourth exit, fourth exit. Okay. turning right. It says Central London, Hammersmith, A4. Okay. So it's going to be run. 
So one is here just before the bridge. Oh, Usually yeah. people never see exit number one. Not yeah. just here, any roundabout. Yeah. That's because it's so sudden. Okay. So one, two is after the bridge. Yeah. Three is the second one after the bridge. Four is just before the bridge starts. So just count them. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then the road markings will say A4 Central London or A4 East. Rewind this clip if you need to, as this is the most important part of a spiral roundabout. Eduardo wants to keep to the line on the left, which will spiral him into the centre lane with the road markings A4 London. This is the direction he's been asked to follow, yet he's kept on the inner lane, which will lead him further around the roundabout. So we're going to go around then. Do whatever's the safest thing for you to do, okay? Okay. If you are currently subscribed to the channel and seen the previous mock test videos, then you might be aware of how many times I've said this before. Safety is more important than direction. As many people taking a driving test, myself included, I went round and round about three times on my driving test. We can talk about that another time. But as long, and I passed, as long as you remain safe, then you shouldn't receive any driver faults. And in the UK, we have a saying, keep calm and carry on. And if you're reading the road, forward planning and remaining in your lane, this will make you a responsible and safe road user. Throughout this video, you'll notice Eduardo's making effective observations and he's made progress on his mirror checks as he changes lanes here on the roundabout. So he's checked and made sure to see if it's safe. Yet, we have got plenty of vehicles behind us following and Eduardo does not use his signal to tell the other road users which would benefit that he's changing lanes and receives a serious driver fault for signals necessary. Okay, Eduardo, if you wouldn't mind just staying in this lane. Okay. And we'll follow this right lane ahead for now. Thank you. It's competition time here again and for your chance to win a free driving test booking all you need to do is subscribe and write down in the comments free driving test. Once we reach our next thousand subscribers the winner will be announced live on the channel. Good luck. Oh shall we come back? It's alright it doesn't matter as long as we're safe that's the main concern okay? okay. Direction is less important. So we're just going to stay in this right lane, and that's actually going to take us to the right. Yeah. So you seem to know that, yeah, that's where we came from. Yeah. We're going to go back that way. Yeah, so just follow the, follow the road, follow the lane. Okay, Eduardo, would you tell me where would you find the correct tire pressure for the vehicle? It would, it would be in the in the in the car one. Yes, in the, the car, car manual. Yeah, manual. good. And where would you go, or how do you check your tire pressures correctly? You would go in the what's it called, the like petrol station. Okay, good. And what do you use there at the petrol station to check they your have, tire pressure? They have like a like a measure or something. Yes, good. The measuring tool, the something measuring that's going to tell you how much pressure. Thank you very much. Okay, this can be quite a long traffic light, so we might have a little wait. But we're just going to continue to follow the road. Okay. After passing through the rainy junction ahead, the two lanes that we currently have begin to merge into one. And we must check the interior mirror and the right exterior mirror on this occasion to be aware and plan effectively on the information that we can see. It's the right-hand lane on this occasion that will merge into us, and Eduardo only checks his interior mirror for this merge. Finally, after merging, he checks the right-hand mirror, but this is too late, and we have traffic following. Eduardo receives a driver fault advisory for his use of mirrors before the change of direction. Okay, it's quite a long road. Yeah. So at any point, if it's safe, I'd like you to... Show me 
how you wash the rear window. The one this one? The rear window. Oh. That's okay for now, don't worry about it. Just carry on driving. What we can do. Later we can pull up somewhere and we can have a look and find the button, okay? okay. So we, we can revisit that a bit later. I'll just keep following the road. Contrary to popular belief, it is possible to receive a serious driver fault for not attempting or trying to demonstrate your show me question when you're asked to do so by your driving test examiner. You may ask the examiner, if possible, to pull over onto the left side of the road in a safe and convenient area to relocate the button or switch that you may be asked to show on your driving test. If this is possible, then this could be a good idea in case you've forgotten how to do this question. You're right, it's Keith's little brother here, and I'd just like to say, if you don't see me through a wick, you see me through a window. And a big shout out to Fallout. Right, back to normal. Fallout, thank you very much for your comment. Excellent, there is a blind spot. Next mock test video, that will definitely be sorted. Let me know if it's improved. And Zach, thank you for your comment on the wide angle for the GoPros. Yes, this will be sorted, but I do have a problem with one of the screens, which I need to get fixed before I can adjust that. But I really appreciate, guys. More comments down below, please. Thank you. I'm going to ask you to take the next road on the right. It should take us into a car park just here. So, I'd like to take the next road on the right. Here, please. Yes. Okay. yes, please. And I'd like you to enter the car park just like the car in front. Okay. On some occasions, entrances and exits to car parks can be extremely narrow. As we turn into the entrance here, Eduardo narrowly misses the pole on the left hand side and I record a driver fault for clearance obstructions. Okay, if you just keep slowly going ahead, and we're going to go round to the back. It's quieter at the back. Okay. From my experience, driving in a car park is unlike any other area on public roads. Pedestrians will walk out in front of the vehicle or even behind your vehicle as you start to reverse. This will happen to Eduardo at the end of his manoeuvre. And I highly recommend driving with more caution in a car park. Okay, I need to slowly keep coming round to the right. Let's come to a nice slow stop here. Stop there, yeah. No, just here for me, okay. just in the middle of the road. Okay, Eduardo, what I'd like you to do, the lines are a little bit faint on the bays because of the rain. So this yeah. is, you know, just something that happens when it rains. It makes the lines a little bit harder. Okay. Do your best. I'd like you to drive forwards into one of the bays for me, please. I mean, forwards, like... Mm-hmm. Okay. Any bay you choose. Before taking the driving test, it's important to know the manoeuvre requirements. Make sure you do effective observations, as Eduardo is doing here, and you must finish for the Fords Bay Park with all four tyres of the vehicle within the bay markings. Eduardo extends and goes beyond the first bay and into the second row of bays. He has to reverse back to correct his position, and this is recorded as a driver fault under the Forwards Bay Parking Maneuver Control. Okay. It must be one of the first bays, yeah. yeah? So we're not allowed to go over yeah, it, over. okay? Yeah. It's really nice to see Eduardo making effective observations before deciding to correct the position of his vehicle. He notices there are pedestrians in the car park and he acts on the information that he's seen. This will become very important soon. Yeah. Okay, you finished? Can I open the door? Slowly, please, because the phone is on the window. 
We'll be getting more of these yeah, shortly. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. You happy? Yeah. All right, lovely. If you just slowly close the door. Uh, you have to give it a little slam, though. There you go. All right. Um, I'd like you to reverse out to the right, because yeah. I believe it's a one-way anyways. If you'd reverse out this way for me, please, okay. when you're ready. <laughs> Somebody definitely did that on purpose. Well done. So stop there for me. That way, please. So if you could reverse oh, the no. car that way, yeah. So we're going. So no. the back of the car will go towards that gentleman. You see the one that just yeah. walked behind us. So if you can just put the back of the car that way, please. Yeah. I was going to. I was going to the other way. Have a look at the camera, it's going to help you. So you see like the blue car over here? Yeah. If you look over your right shoulder, you might see the blue car. Yeah. You want the wheels to go towards the blue car. Okay. So if you start, yeah. just steer your wheel. Yeah. yeah, you can see it's going towards the blue car. Yeah. Sometimes I say to my students to point, yeah. because that can be very helpful. So just point where you want to go, and you turn the steering wheel exactly the same way. Okay. Okay, that's fantastic. We've got enough room to exit the car park. So just like to drive ahead, that's the exit. We're going to exit the car park, turn left, and left again onto the main road. Okay, okay. when you're ready. You are right, it's me, little Keith's brother again. I'm not little Keith's brother, but I am little Keith's brother. So, like, what I'm trying to say is, this is probably going to be my new auto ego. So, when Eduardo, like, he exits the car park now, but I tell him so many times, he don't listen to me. Like, I tell him, look, the left side, man, you're going to crash. And you don't listen to me, Eduardo. So, I don't know what to say, bro. I'm trying to help you out, but just look, listen to the driving instructor now. He'll help you out, all right? Ta-da. And if I don't see you through a week, I see you through a window. Eduardo, just before you move forward, you just stop. Can you see your blind spot mirror in the circle one? Yeah. Your back tire is on the pavement. Okay. And if you keep going left, you're yeah. going to go more on the pavement. Yeah, so I'm going to go more on the And my car's too low. If it drops off that curb, it's going to smash. Okay. So I need you to steer to the right, straighten the vehicle like you're going to go towards the building in front. Yeah. Wait until the corner disappears out your windscreen. Yeah. You can't see it. And now start to steer. Because okay. if you turn too early, yeah. you'll go over the pavement. Okay. At the traffic lights, turn left. Thank you for staying okay. tuned up until now. And if you've learned something new or gained some value, then don't forget to like, as it will really help my channel grow. And I'd appreciate it. So thank you in advance. Now, it's very nice to see Eduardo for a second time. And this really helps me to understand his driving as I'm seeing consistencies uh, with the left-hand side here and there needs to be some kind of reference point or some kind of teaching aid to help Eduardo gain some more distance from the left and know exactly how far he is also. So this is something that I think Eduardo would really benefit from. And another section that I think Eduardo needs to focus on is what I used to do. So I never looked for signs and I wouldn't see speed signs especially. Signs in general are attached to poles at the side of the road, which can be very beneficial for forward planning, as you might get warning triangles warning you of hazards ahead. And this is a very good effective way to become a more efficient and safer driver as you will be forward planning awareness and planning earlier and this will result in you having to brake slower so speed signs for Eduardo was a factor and it's coming up a little bit again you'll hear the ding dong or bing bong noise on the vehicle here alerting Eduardo of his speed you remember that sound yeah <laughs> did you watch your video huh? did you watch your video yeah yeah Came up a bit, didn't it, the speed? Yeah, that's brilliant. 
Well, even if you do 21, it's fine, isn't it? Well, technically it's over the limit, but however, you might be given some leeway, it depends, mm. okay? So, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about 21, um, but yeah, it's still over, isn't it? You be careful. Okay, we are approaching a roundabout. At the roundabout, I'd like you to turn right, third exit. Okay. Remembering that Eduardo failed his last driving test for not making effective use of mirrors before changing direction or lane at the roundabout, watch now as Eduardo shows us how that lesson unfortunately has made him remember and he checks his mirrors effectively signals at the second exit to show everybody around him that will benefit from the signal that he will be taking the third exit. Okay, I'd like you to follow the signs towards Hammersmith now please. We're going to start your independent driving. We'll follow the sign to Hammersmith please. The sign on the left is blue and he's following towards M4 Hammersmith, Central London. We will be joining a motorway and that's why the colour of the sign is blue as signs for M roads, motorways are often coloured blue. Now Eduardo has a feet ahead of him as he will be joining under the wet conditions where our following distance must keep to four seconds as we're told in the highway code. Now, when Eduardo joins, he'll have to do his merging mirrors again onto the right side like we had come up earlier. So make sure that you're checking to see if it's safe. And I'll use the camera angles here so you can try and guess the timing and your speed and the flow that you move into the motorway. This must be done all at the same speed. And the analogy that I use is like a river. So when you jump into the river, you want to go with the flow of the river as this is much more safer and avoid any heavy braking. Eduardo's running out of slip road here and he must make sure that he's moving out earlier as we almost hit the left hand side. So make sure you make effective use of your mirrors internal and external Signalling will benefit other road users, so I may suggest using your indicator to make other people aware that your intentions are to move out. Now remember, we talked about a four second rule for following distance. How do you measure your distance in time from the vehicle in front? We'll take a landmark, like a lamppost or a road marking, and then start to count. By the time you reach the same landmark, this will give your distance in time. And if it's under four seconds, which it is here for Eduardo, then you will receive a driver fault serious for following distance. Okay, that's fine. What I'd like to do is slow down, follow yeah. the car in front, yeah. it's the next left. Okay, perfect. Okay, maybe he's not turning anymore. But if you slow down, you should see the turn just, yes, by, okay. just by the Porsche dealership. Yes, yeah. just there on the left. Thank you very much. I'd like to do the second exit on the roundabout. I'm going to say it straight ahead. Thank you. Okay, this road can be a little bit busy, but I'm going to see if there's some space for us to pull over. Wait for me to ask you though, please. Okay. All right, there might be some room. Would you Below, um, maybe there isn't any room. Let's try to go a little further down. 
Okay, so if you can slow down for me, there's uh, there's yellow zigzag lines. Okay, never mind then, there's no room today. Just continue to follow the road, please. At the end of the road, turn left, and then at the roundabout, turn right, third exit. Take the next road on the left, please. I thought we should be able to pull over. Okay. Don't touch your phone, please. Just take the next road on the left. When I'm busy, they're calling me. When I'm not busy, yeah, no one's calling me. It's against the law to even touch your phone while you're behind the wheel. Okay. okay. Alright, I'd like to pull over and stop on the left, please. Don't worry about driveways or yellow lines. Just pull over and stop on the left. Behind this one. Yep. Leave yourself at least a car lamp. Stop, 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 stop. Don't want to get too close. Alright, just secure the car. Switch the engine off by pushing the stop button here. Now that you're in a safe parked position, now that you're in a safe parked position and the engine switched off, you can touch your phone. No, no, it's not necessary. Okay, maybe yeah. we'll put it on silent or I'm switch off. it off, yeah? Because unless the engine switched off, I'll just put it on the side door there, um, and you're parked. Yeah. It's a it's a driving offence. Six points, massive fine, yeah. a lot of stress. <laughs> Please don't put yourself through that. Okay. So for anybody, the the dead of rules. I'm not the law. I'm just spreading <laughs> the news. That's all. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So remember earlier we talked about the um window yeah, wiper. Yeah. This is obviously a new car because you do practice in another car yeah. uh, this is the back window wiper so if you just push that really deep good and that sprays the window wiper and cleans okay. the window wiper it automatically stops so that's how we would do that show me question in this vehicle so in a moment I'm going to ask you to drive on and then at some point I will say when it's safe I'd like you to show me how you'd wash the rear window okay. alright you happy with that yeah okay uh, start the engine again for me please Take your time to drive on when it's safe to do so. End of the road, I'd like you to turn right, right please. end of the road I'd like you to turn left please Thank you. 
We are now back on the high street and we have plenty of road markings, especially this white wide solid line on the left. It identifies a bus lane. There will be a blue sign attached to the lampposts nearby stating the times of operation. If the sign says no times of operation or if you have the words at any time, this means you will not be allowed to use the bus lane and you must keep a safe distance in case of passing buses. Eduardo starts to steer too close and steps on top of the white wide solid line and receives a driver fault for control steering. I'd like you to take the fourth exit, turning right, please. It says Wembley Ealing. I'm going to fourth exit. Yes, please. So here number one's not too difficult, we can actually see exit one. Yeah. The middle one. One, two, three, four. The fourth exit. So it's gonna be this one. Yeah. You just count the exits as you go. If you wasn't for that round, I should, I should pass. That's why I want to get you practice on this <laughs> roundabout. If we do this correctly, mm. you'll be coming back here again for one last one before we finish today. So concentrate. We've just passed exit one. Yeah. Exit two is still coming. Yeah. And we're going for exit four. It says A406. That's where we're going, okay? A406. Yeah, so it's on your lane. Look for A406. Okay. Yes, yeah. Good with your left mirror, so yeah. noticing that, well done. Okay, I have to be a bit more like an examiner, okay? okay. So I have to be a bit quiet now. Okay, oh. lovely. Take the next left here, please. Next left. This one? Yes, please. And then when you emerge here, yeah. you're approaching the roundabout again. Yeah, okay. I want you to do the fourth exit, turning right again. Okay. So you got that? Yeah? Yeah. You're going to have to stop here. Oh. That car there is in the middle lane and you're going into it. Slowly go. Okay. Be very careful of the other traffic. Yeah. Just because one car stopped for you, yeah. it doesn't mean the other cars are going to stop or the yeah. motorbikes. Okay. I didn't see that car coming, that's why. Okay, so we won't be able to do the full exit now yeah. because we're in the incorrect lane for the yeah. exit. Yeah. So I'd like you to do what's the safest option for you. Safest and easiest option now is to do what on the roundabout? There you go. Yeah, go okay. to really, yeah. And we'll come round again. So okay. just take the first exit turning left and yeah. I'll give you directions to come back and we'll try that again. Okay. This is what happens to me in the test. It's good to practice. Just take the next left 
prepare for me, please. Thank you. So think about where you want to go to do the full fix in the middle. Turning right. The middle one, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so now you know where you need to go. Yeah. So check the traffic. Yeah. If it's safe, if if it's safe, yeah, okay. Yeah. That's much better. Yeah. Okay. Well done. Okay, so fourth exit turning right. Do you think the middle lane's gonna be good? No, it's gonna be the You're looking for A two oh five. Okay. Yeah. Yes, can I be this one? Good. Did you see the road markings? Yes, yeah. Excellent. So it's helpful, isn't it? When you have a big roundabout like this, it's about looking at road markings. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I can try this. But remember, ultimately, the examiners want to see that you're a safe driver. Yeah. So if you feel like you can't go to A205, go where's the safest place to go, yeah. okay? okay? Very important. Because I think if you don't go to the same direction, maybe it can be a mistake. As long as you're safe, there's no driving fault. <laughs> Are you looking for A205? Yeah. See, it's all about the road markings. Yeah. If you're not reading the road, you'll get lost. Okay, thank you. If you just stay in the right lane, please. We're just going to go back to the car park that we started in. Yeah. Okay. Um, when you feel it's safe, which you may not, okay, but if you feel it's safe, I'd like you to show me how you wash the rear window. Yeah. I need to see some water. There you go. Lovely. Thank you. I'll just continue to follow this lane. When we reach the traffic lights, we'll be turning right. Here we are getting way too close to the road marking on the left as a vehicle is passing. He's a large vehicle and we're stepping on the line and he's stepping over the line. We need to make sure that we keep a safe clearance from obstructions on the left hand side at all times. Had we had been alongside each other at the same moment of going too close to the road marking, there would have been a crash. On this occasion, I have given an advisory driver fault for control steering. Okay, once the traffic lights change and we start to move, yeah. I don't know if you're aware, but there's two lanes here. Yeah. There's yeah. only one lane over there. Yeah. It merges. It merges, okay? yeah. Now, just where it merges, mm -hmm. we want to turn left. So I'd encourage you to signal left now. Yeah. Keep going. And then just after these white poles, so slow yeah. down. We're going to turn in here, actually. So okay. Turn in here for me. 
Watch your bicycles and then nice and slow. And just come on to the left here, just next to the little water feature. Ignore that, okay. just coming up the pavement so it beeps a bit. And then we'll just come over here and just face the bin. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's absolutely perfect. Thank you. All right, and just secure the car, put it in park. All right, and you've got P displayed on the dashboard. No need to put handbrakes or anything. You can just relax. Okay. okay. Actually, we'll take it one step further because at the end of your test, the test isn't over until you actually switch the engine off. Yeah. Your examiner will ask you to do that. Yeah. I was going to keep it on for the air conditioning, but I don't think it's going to really make a big difference. Yeah. Okay, Eduardo. What questions do you have for me? It didn't go well. Okay. Yeah. What are you worried about? You know the roundabouts? Yeah. You know, you know, you know when that guy he let me, he give me away. Mm -hmm. I was trying to go, I was trying to go on the on the left to towards Wembley. The I was I wasn't gonna go in the, on the on the middle. So, so the guy was emergent. So I didn't so know what happened. The beep, I got distracted. Was it us? Yeah, it was me. Us. Was <laughs> <laughs> I was looking around like, who is that? So yes, yeah, so you're going towards Wembley. Yeah. And the guy let you over yeah, to the left. Yeah, I was going to yep. go on the left. I don't know what happened. That guy was coming. Today? Yeah, just now. Oh, this last one? Yeah, on the rondo. You remember when you stopped me? Ah, yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so how would you deal with that situation differently next time then? Even if it's someone give me a word, I have to check yeah. if there's any car coming. Yeah. So it's beneficial that we went round again and did that again, because then you can kind of get another chance to see the situation and, and deal with it in a different way. Yeah. So it's good that you do this practice, because there's always little things that might happen that are new, like that. That might be new. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're coming out of a side road yeah. onto a dual carriageway. Yeah. I mean, there's three lanes there, okay? yeah. so it's, it's quite a large bit of road. Anybody on the lane that's closest to you yeah. might give way to you. Okay, you can move out, but yeah. it's about the steering then. You want yeah. to make sure you keep the steering in to the left, so you follow the curve on the left. Oh, okay. We went out a bit in towards the middle lane, and at that point, that's when the middle lane traffic was moving across. Yeah. And we were getting into the point where we are getting too close, we might touch. Yeah. So at that point, I had to stop you. The second time you did it, there was no traffic there. It yeah. was a lot safer, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm going to have to say about the mask. Oh, Just yeah. And all these things, okay. All right, so, um, yeah, so you dealt with that differently. Right, anything else on your mind or any questions before I go through what happened on your mock test? Yeah, just, you know, roundabouts. Mm -hmm. I mean, here is, here is kind of complicated, it's not like some other places. Yep, the roundabout was big. There was multiple lanes. That's yeah. Chiswick roundabout, okay? Yeah. Uh, dual carriageway roundabout, multi-lane roundabout, spiral roundabout, traffic light controlled roundabout. It's all of that. Yeah. Road markings is really what you wanted to be looking for. If you want to make that simple, read the road. Yeah. For you, that's all you need to be concentrating on. That will come up in Tottenham and a lot of other driving test centres. Big roundabout, just like this one. Mm. Even bigger sometimes, okay? Yeah, there's two, two and it's weeks, about yeah. the practice. Go over it if you can with your instructor. Yeah. Really read the road. Know exactly what lane to choose at the start of the roundabout so that you finish in the correct lane at the end of the roundabout, okay? okay. So that's, that's all you need to focus on when you're doing these big roundabouts, yeah. okay? Uh, any other questions or any things that you're not worried, uh, you're not too sure about? No, the round of us, I, I learned, what's up, I done with my structure yesterday, so we practicing. Mm -hmm. So what, what, what I felt the last time that round of us, mm -hmm. we went again and, and I done the wall. Yes. Yeah, because yeah, you go over it again yeah. and again. It's so helpful, isn't it? Yeah, because, you know, basically I was going like that. Mm -hmm. There was two go there. You can go there. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because, I don't know, because when I drive, I don't, I don't, Check that mirror often. I check more this one, this one. I'm so glad you said that because that's something I'm going to cover quite a lot in a minute. <laughs> okay. Yes. Yeah, you know, in when you drive, when you, yeah. you drive here, you check yeah. more. This. So that's how I'm always thinking more this one. Okay. This I check, but not often though. Yeah. What I want you to think, right? This is a party. Okay. Yeah. You got your internal mirror friend. Yeah. You got your right mirror friend. Yeah. 
They're Thank invited you. to the party. They're over here having a great time. Yeah. This poor guy over here, he's looking through the window like, let me in, please. I want to come in. Invite them in. Get yeah. that involved yeah. in your driving. Yes, it's very, very common. This mirror is further away. Yeah. So it's most likely going to be left out a bit because it's further from us. Yeah. It needs more attention for that reason. Not yourself, everybody. Yeah, that's okay. what the examiner told me. Yeah. You don't you have to turn one that mirror. Mm -hmm. And it's very common for people that have come from countries where they drive on the right side of the road because you're naturally here. This is my interpretation of this. Yeah. Your brain naturally knows that this side's okay because you're close to it. Yeah. And now we pick you up, put you in a different country, put you in a different part of the car. Your brain's still going, it's okay here, it's okay here. Because <laughs> for years it's been okay. Yeah, so but I think, yeah. <laughs> now you're here, that side's okay. Because yeah. you're so close to it, it's just naturally going to yeah. be okay. You're aware of your surroundings. This is further away, it's going to need more attention. And even more for somebody that's driven in another country on the right side of the road for many years. Because you're going to have to reprogram the brain now. It's not easy. Yeah. It takes a lot of lessons. Okay, shall I go through the results? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm so really serious. unfortunately, yes. On this occasion, we haven't been successful. Uh, serious faults, one, two, two serious faults. Only two. Only two serious faults. How many minors? Uh, we have three dangerous faults, though. So in total, the serious danger faults is five. Minor faults, one, two, three, four, five, six. six. So below average on the minor faults six. or driver advisory faults, yes. So basically, if, if, you, if it was not for serious, I know that you would be a pass, isn't it? Yes. Um, would you like me to explain them to you? Or? Yeah, sure. yeah, okay. All right, I'll do these in order because um, I'm quite good at that now. Uh, so we're just trying to find number one. There we go. So number one, when we left, immediately... We almost crashed. Yeah, the I did I did I didn't knew I didn't knew it was a, like a permanent like a permanent there. So yes, it's hard to see, isn't it? Because of this, you're not gonna see it because it's low. Mm. But what did the car do for us? So they show you that. So it beeping at you, didn't it? So you know if something might be wrong. So we'll stop the vehicle yeah. and have a look in our mirrors, consider what might be in our surroundings, and then refocus and if we need to adjust the steering or whatever we can. All right, moving on. Um, number two, uh, when we move. Oh, this is a minor. Okay, advisory driver fault. Okay, when we were moving out. We had a lady walking in front of us yes, as so, we were yeah. edging out. Yeah. She got about three quarters of the way past the vehicle. So she's not fully past the front of the vehicle. We're very slowly still edging forwards. Oh, I was worried how fast you were going to move. I almost put the brake on. Yeah, you know, because that one, is, I'm going to block everything so mm. you cannot see the view was, yeah. was, was coming or not. So if we can't see, we need to be extra cautious. Yeah. All right. Any pedestrians in front, especially if they're that close to the vehicle, let them keep going, get yeah. out of the way completely, re-look, right, left, right, minimum oh. observations, peep and creep, edge out, and then you can see, you know it's safe, then you complete your turn. All right, uh, moving on, number three, where is number three? Okay, so we've got use of mirrors, okay? This was for your signals. This was a serious driver fault. So you change lanes on the roundabout. Yeah. You actually change two lanes on the roundabout. Yeah. No signal. <laughs> Lots of mirror checks, though, so congrats. Well yeah. done. That is yeah, that's signal. slightly more important because you need to see if it's safe. Yeah. But we also need to signal to tell people, especially when there's a lot of traffic behind us, yeah. which there was, we need to show them we're crossing over a couple of lanes. Okay? Yeah. Right, moving on. Number four. We've got the driver fault advisory here for mirror checks with change of direction. This was the merge just here. Yeah. Do you remember I told you at the yeah. end? It's merging traffic. Yeah. We've got to look to the side that's merging into us. Okay. Some people do fail their driving tests. I had one lady, um, Ace, she crossed through a crossroads. Hibber Green Driving Test Center. Oh. Two lanes on one side of the crossroad. 
but one lane on the other side of the crossroads. So as you pass through the crossroads, you need to check to the side that's merging. She did not. She received one serious driver fault, failed a driving test, just for that reason on a driving test. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Uh, so that was number four, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Number five, um, clearance to obstructions. This was an advisory driver fault. When we entered the car park, I actually thought you were going to hit the pole. I do have the camera on that side of the car <laughs> yeah. for this reason. So I can show everybody, including yourself, the distance there. It's at the back, but hopefully it'll still see that bit at the front. All right, we didn't hit it. Yeah. It was getting, so minor driver fault. Number six. Um, do, 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 do. Number six. Oh, no, that's not it, because that's your total driver fault. So I should put that in a box or something. Number six. Uh, you did your bay parking. We did go over the line. Yeah. I threw you a, a lifeline. I said to you, so we must make sure that we stop in the first bays. Yeah. So and at that point, you realized, you corrected, you came back, you yeah. stopped inside the lines, correct, good bay parking, just one driver fault for the correction, mm. which goes under control. Moving on to number seven, seven. Right, here we go, a driver fault here. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if this is number, I think number seven was when we were turning left out the car park. Yeah. The my car is very low, it's yeah, too it low in fact, it, and yeah. yeah, it would the curb was higher. The car was going to go over the curb, and it might cause damage to the vehicle. Uh, number eight, we have a driver fault advisory here for steering, and what's happening? This is quite common. This is what I was going to say about the left side. Uh, mm. You're driving on the left line. Yeah. So you drove on the bus lane line. The bus was very far behind. Well, not that far, but it was far yeah. enough to not affect us. But if it was right next to us and you're on the line, the bus is a big boy. Mm. The bus is going to win. Yeah. yeah. We're featherweight. He's super heavyweight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah We've got to make sure we give that clearance. Otherwise, he's yeah. going to take us. Okay. Um. Then we're moving on. Number nine. So you just need to be further away from the line on yeah. the bus lane line. And number nine. This is a dangerous driver fault here. This was the emerging out onto the dual carriageway where I had to stop you because of the middle lane and that car yeah. that passed us in the middle lane. Number 10. Oh, that, uh, that dual carriageway well, was toward Hammersmith, right? Yes. So we yeah, did... it, was co it was coming to one. Oh, sorry. No, not that dual carriageway. Oh. No. Um, you know the bit you, you asked me questions about at the beginning where you said we were following the sign to Wembley yeah. and then we came back round onto the bit where we emerged oh, out and that okay. car passed in front and I had to stop us. Oh, okay. There was three lanes of traffic and we oh, were going okay. into the middle slightly. Okay, we covered that one at the beginning. Uh, that's number 10 and that is it. So that finishes, so I believe. Six, six. Uh, there was, sorry, there was one more actually at the end here. Bus lane, oh, Chiswick High Street. Oh, sorry, number 10. Did I say number 10 was the bus lane? Number 8 was the bus lane. Yeah. Did we do number 9? No. Oh, we did. That yeah, was we that one it. we just talked about merging out. Sorry, lastly, now number 10. Same thing, we were uh, on that line. Yeah. And then you kind of came a bit off of it, which was nice. Some van passed you, yeah. which was on the line and over their line. So they were, I'll show that on the video, hopefully. They were over their line. They were in your lane. Yeah. But if we're on the line and they're on the line, let alone being over lines, yeah. we're getting way too close to this left side. Okay. So luckily, we missed that, um, but it did get very close. All right. So how many series in total? So in total, the serious or de total serious dangerous driver faults, we can let's just call it a major driver fault, okay, yeah. although it's serious dangerous. One, two, three, four, five. There's this one, two, three, four, five. That's it, isn't it? I don't see any in these small boxes here. It's just here. Yeah, so five. Yep. Okay, uh, bigger roundabouts, new area. Got to watch that left side. Yeah. Left side needs some work. Okay, and so read the road. Oh, if you do here, you're driving test. Oh. Well, try <laughs> try driving test at South Hall. Try a test at Yedding. Try a test at Uxbridge. Try a test at Abbey Wood, Erith. Sorry, Abbey Wood. No, yeah. <laughs> this, I mean, no, they all involve these situations. Mm. Yeah. No, I do more in Tottenham because no more the area. Yeah, stick to the area that you know. It's nice comfort zone, and it helps you to plan ahead. Two yeah. or three junctions ahead, depending on how well you because know the area. Because here you will fail immediately. 
Yeah, it's not easy. Um, yes, it is a very difficult area to drive because we're very close to central London. So there's lots of hazards, very busy, populated area. It's going to be risky. All right. So yeah. um, any questions for myself before we finish up? No, I will try and do more roundabouts. Yep. I mean, driving on the street for me is normal. It's only, it's only roundabouts. Yeah, I think the roundabouts. And then just make sure that when you are on a straight road, that left side's got its clearance, okay? Yeah, we cannot run now if you're going to Australia ahead, you can be either on the left or on the middle lane. Yeah. Or if you go in the fourth exit, you, can, you have to be on the right. Yes, but like I said, read the road. Yeah. Because that doesn't always yes. work. Yeah. So you need to read the road to see the road markings and then you know exactly what lane to choose. That's really the best way. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. Reading the road. <laughs> reading the road. Reading. <laughs> I'm brainwashing people now. I'm trying Be because read. in Tottenham, there's no road marking like here. There's like a, like a lines. Yep. You go like that. But no writing. No, there's no writing. Okay, so if there's no writing. So you have fine. to know which you yeah. have to know which line you're going to. You yeah. go, if you go there, yeah. Series four. Yeah. That's how it happens to me. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. So when you do that now, you'll remember that situation. Check that mirror. And I can see you're doing that. You did that today. Don't check this one. No, you check when you're leaving the roundabout, when you're exiting the roundabout. Yeah. You're doing it. Yeah. So that unfortunate situation that came up now has forced you into doing this. It's yeah. just something you'll never forget. Yeah. Unfortunately, but for a positive reason, it stays in the memory. And look at what you're doing now. And you'll, hi you'll see that on the video. You'll see me talking about that on the video, how you've progressed and made that effort and it's much better. So you're making steps in the right direction. You yeah. know what you need to do. Yeah. And this will obviously help you for a little bit. That's how my struggle told me. Forget about this mirror. Check more. This one. <laughs> yeah, invite him to the party. Come in. Yeah. We're having a great time. Sure. All right. So that is that. Um, yeah. So now we're for a new test. Yeah. Let's see how it goes. But I wasn't, I wasn't nervous at all. Okay. It was 15 minutes left. Then they are messing up. Right at the end, yeah, yeah, it happens. The examiner told me if it wasn't for that, you, you should have probably because only zero four and one serious, that's it. And that's usually the, the point where you're like, oh my God, no, just that one reason. If I didn't do that one thing, I would have passed. Oh. Well, I think they should, they, should allow, they should do at least two serious four. Well, you can write to them. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> not because let's say if you because everyone make mistake let's say if you drive well for, let's say for 20 minutes or 25 minutes and let's say you make one series four it's not going to be fair as well sometimes i've been scott this has been eduardo stay safe stay tuned <laughs> and we'll see you next time <laughs> bye bye